different groups teaming up to provide more ways for people to get tested for COVID-19. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live at a local testing site. And Bridget, what are you learning? What are they going to do differently? Well, Russ, there are several ways you can get tested for COVID-19 these days. You can come to a testing site like this one where we've seen a steady line of cars for the past hour or so coming through here, but you can also even order a testing kit from your phone now. Dr. Christopher Chow says it's a busy start to the new year at WakeMed. Unfortunately, the predictions that we made earlier this year about the winter being bad for COVID is coming true. They're seeing more COVID tests returning positive. People can not only go to the various testing sites across the county, but can also order tests to their homes. The company GoPuff is the first to offer instant delivery of at-home COVID-19 test kits in the U.S. Along with grocery and household items, you can now order a COVID test to arrive within an hour. It's saliva-based rather than a nasal swab. The science behind the test is the same. He says the numbers show when done right, these tests are 96 to 97 percent accurate, but they're not yet FDA approved. But we don't actually know how good that number is because we haven't basically put it up against the test of time. Home tests allow people to remain isolated and do the test in privacy. However, they're often at least $100 and still need to be brought to the post office. Results then come back in 24 to 72 hours. Health professionals say at the end of the day, the more tests, the better. I'm a big proponent in testing, testing as often as you can and as, as much as you can. Uh, I think that's one of our ways out of this, uh, this challenge that we've had. Doctors say the most important thing is when you get tested, though. So if you've been exposed and you're not having any symptoms, it's important you wait five to seven days from that point of exposure so you don't get a false negative. If you have been exposed and you are experiencing symptoms, you should get tested and isolate. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. Bridget, thank you.